Right, excuse the indignity of me trying to get in this helicopter, by the way. The final campaign push for the SNP goes airborne. Nicola Sturgeon baffled by Ed Miliband's comments last night. I was surprised to hear him say it because it's, you know, it's a message that is disastrous for Labour in Scotland. Flying over Kokodi, looking down on Gordon Brown country, an image not lost on Nicola Sturgeon. Rather like the flying conditions today, it's been a pretty smooth ride for the SNP throughout this election campaign. But they know, as well as anybody else, that the really tough business has yet to come after the election and after the poll. And Ed Miliband, in his comments last night, has merely given an indication of what is to come. I'm not going to have a Labour government if it means deals or coalitions with the Scottish Sir. National Party. Sir. The price of having a Labour government was a coalition or a deal with the Scottish National Party. It's not going to happen. Genuine tactical shift or just more forceful restating of Labour's no formal deal strategy with the SNP. A party which, south of the border, is doing all it can to will Labour into Downing Street. <laughs> Ed Miliband thinks he's got the SNP but over he a can, barrel here because you promised no, him he in, you promised him into number he 10 at almost, almost any circumstances. Ed, Ed, Ed Miliband's been bullied and thrown about by the Tories on this issue. You know, he knows if he... I've been in a minority government. You know, you have to win support from other parties to get any policies through. So that gives opposition parties, in this case, it would give the SNP massive influence on an issue by issue basis. Will that be Will that be Will that be Gil Scott Heron sings that the revolution won't be televised. Well, perhaps not. Since around 5 pm this afternoon, protesters have been gathering here. There's fury from many that a Labour leader could. with what could well be the landslide party of Scotland. And down south, other party leaders have been as quick as you'd expect to judge Ed Miliband's comments. Miliband has ruled himself out of being prime minister. I, I was astonished last night by his comments. Uh, mathematically, it's impossible for him to be prime minister. Without the SNP, he said unequivocally he won't do a deal. So th there is no way now that Labour can win this election. Invisible behind the minders, Ed Miliband arrived about six o'clock to the chance of Red Tories out. Red Tories in! A Labour leader perceived here to prefer a Tory government than doing a deal with the SNP. Don't expect to walk about on the streets.